hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope that everyone is doing well today's video is going to be a makeup haul there was actually a good reason behind getting all this stuff my birthday was on april the 24th so i picked some stuff up from ulta i ordered online i honestly think that after this i cannot get any more new makeup I am though waiting on the 20% off coupon from Ulta to come out for prestige because I've been wanting to pick up some items and then after that I'm done. That's it. Right. Okay. So I had placed this order for Ulta when they had their whole spring haul sale going on. They had so many good stuff on sale. It was insane. So I picked up a lot of stuff. I did also get some free gifts but I'll show those until the end but this is just... I actually got this in the mail more than a week ago and it's still been here in this box i just i think i just haven't really used any of it or wanted to dive in because i've just been feeling really lazy to do makeup because of quarantine i mean obviously right now i'm wearing makeup but it's still like for an everyday use i'm just not doing makeup i got the la girl pro mastery eyeshadow palette okay you can see my ring light I had actually gotten a request a few months ago asking for like a review on this palette and another one that they had launched actually was like playing around with this very very lightly the other day and the shadows are so soft they're so easy to blend out and they're so pigmented so video on this is going to be coming very soon i believe this retails for 16 or 17 dollars and i got it i believe for half off so that was a good deal a warning i did get a lot of palettes i did not need this many palettes so next item this is from juvia's place this is also another palette that i had gotten a request on to do a look with so i've been wanting it either way but this is the warrior 2 by juvia's place and this palette is so pretty i think that what's really cool about it is that the shades in here are all matte and i don't have an all matte palette so this is just what the packaging looks like the only thing that i don't like about these juvia place palettes is that they don't come with the mirror but here are the shades and oh my goodness i've had my eye on this forever and i believe that these retail for 20 dollars, but i got mine for 12 so i'm really excited to play around with this probably do maybe like a two looks one palette we'll see i also got another palette from juvia's place this is the nudes by juvia's and these are like mini eyeshadow palettes that they launched a few months ago these palettes they don't come with the mirror i think i got this maybe for like seven dollars they retail i believe for 14 so i did get it for half off i believe thinking it was even maybe even cheaper i don't remember how cute really excited to also get into this palette i think that this is going to be a cute like everyday glam palette okay, so. so i got two palettes from ColourPop. the first one this is the nude mood palette and i said that i had been wanting to pick this up i had picked up the other palette that launched in this collection um and this one i had actually bought one but i had given it away i had included this in a giveaway so i've really been wanting to pick it up for a while now and mine kind of came a little bit damaged but it's okay so this is just beautiful beautiful shadows again the only thing i don't like about these palettes i feel like when they're whole little magnetic palettes is that they don't include a mirror these palettes cost two dollars more than the regular monochromatic palettes and those palettes they come with a mirror so i don't get what why did you guys not include a mirror in this but this palette is just so pretty and then i also got this other palette from ColourPop. this is the she's got soltis palette and i have already played around with this i had actually filmed a look using this but i did not like the footage so i do have to refilm it but i love this this collection is actually an exclusive to ulta so you can't get it on ColourPop's regular website but it is so beautiful i love this palette i feel like this is like the ultimate spring summer fall palette even i don't know i feel like it's perfect for year round some matte some shimmers 
believe there is just one glitter in here and i was playing around with it i was really impressed it was just so cute but again i wasn't happy with the footage so i do just have to refilm that i did also get two more things from that collection that was launched at ulta i got this little ColourPop blush this is the interstellar pressed powder blush i already tested this one out and so i really like this i really want to get more into color pop blushes and their highlighters so i did also get one lip product from that collection this is a luxe gloss i've never tried this formula before so um i'm excited to get into this and i did get the shade tied up which again this is like a mauvey pink shade it's just so cute okay, so i picked up two more items from ColourPop. i got a lippy sticks and i also got a lippy pencil i've really been wanting to try their lippy pencils and finally got one got this in the shade what is this called this is in the shade bff and this is just like a nice pretty nude shade and then the lippy sticks that i've got which i have i have tried their lippy sticks before and i really like them they're really comfortable on the lips and the one that i got is cookie and this is a matte shade so this watches this is the lippy stick and cookie and then this is the liner in bff so you guys know that i love blush and i've had my eye on this for a while as well this is from bh cosmetics and this is the vanilla cream truffle four color blush palette these are actually really affordable i think they cost maybe what like twelve dollars somewhere around that price point and this little palette comes with a mirror and you also get four blushes in here so i believe they launched a few of these palettes and i've heard really good things about this so that's why i picked that up and these colors are just so pretty i feel like this is going to be perfect for like a year round and i do also really want to get more into bh cosmetics i've just seen so many of their stuff really affordable and there were some other stuff that i wanted to pick up from the brand but they were already sold out so decided to just get this little palette for now but if you do have any favorites from bh cosmetics please let me know down below in the comment section because i really want to get more into the brand i also picked up some lashes i love kiss lashes and i got this in the style 11 i'm actually wearing a pair today and i believe this was what how much was this I think this was maybe like seven or eight dollars and i just love this style the band is very thin so i don't really struggle with getting them on and i really just like that it's like super fluttery towards the end and it does also come with a little applicator in the back and you get five pairs of lashes in this little set so i love kiss lashes they're just so easy to put on so comfortable to wear they don't feel heavy at all throughout the day so I love these so much and I usually buy mine from TJ Maxx or Marshalls but with quarantine everything being closed you know I can't, I can't, I can't go in there but I do usually get the kiss lashes from there I believe the last two things that I got that I actually paid for because the rest are some free gifts that I got but I have been wanting to get these items well specifically one item for a really long time from the brand truly is it truly yes it's truly this brand so much of their stuff has gone viral on tiktok and i've been wanting to test it out i was actually going to pay full price on some of their items but then the sale was announced and i saw that ulta actually had the brand for 30 percent off so much stuff sold out so quickly but i was able to get my hands on these two items the first one that i got is the acai your boobs so this one is actually the one that has gone viral on tiktok so many people have said that this is really good that this really does work so i am excited to see um if it works if it does anything but this is supposed to be a lifting boob polish it's supposed to firm and tighten the boobies it's it has acai dragon fruit vitamin a retinol retinol and an antioxidant boost and you're supposed to apply this when you're in the shower or you're taking a bath so you're supposed to take a small amount uh, mix with water to get a nice lather rub onto your chest in circular motions and rinse so supposedly this works we'll see if it does i'll, I'll let you guys know um i'll give you guys a little update on this but this is just what the packaging looks like i like that it comes in the glass jar 
and it smells so good i don't know why mine looks like this like the consistency of it like the actual product it just looks weird because it did take a while for this package to come in so maybe that's why it just kind of looks like that but i'm really excited to test this out and hopefully it helps the boobies in some way and then another item that i got which i think i'm actually more excited for this than for the boob polish but this is also from the brand truly and this is the good night moon chest slash neck sleep mask so this is for again tightening and firming again they are cruelty free and you're supposed to apply to areas of the chest and leave on while sleeping to firm and tighten your skin so we'll see how this works as well and again this smells this just smells amazing the consistency of this is actually this actually looks much better than the other one this one just looks so weird be excited to try these out i did also want to get this one that was for your butt it was supposed to like smoothen out texture all that stuff from the butt but it sold out there was just so much stuff that i wanted to get from the brand but it sold out i usually like to wait to place a big order like this um if they have a free gift going on because there are free gifts from ulta they are just so worth it they send really good stuff i've gotten so much good free stuff that i use so much so i really just like to wait first thing that they sent over this is a little makeup bag from benefit it is so cute um i do have a lot of makeup bags so i do plan on giving this to my grandma but this is like a really good size it's a really good decent size i already have a ton of makeup bags so i don't need it but i was excited for the little samples that they threw in here um, the first one that they put, this is the Precisely My Brow Pencil. They did also throw in the Roller Lash Mascara and a little sample size of the Gimme Brow and the Professional Hydrate Primer. I'm trying to switch over to cruelty-free products so I don't purchase from Benefit anymore. I really enjoy their products though. They have such great products but I just can't purchase from them anymore because it's just it's 2020 why are we still testing on animals so i don't mind getting them as free gifts and like you know just using those little samples up but for me to actually go out and like purchase a full size or even a travel size i just i can't do that so i don't mind getting them as little samples and then just using them up or passing them along and then they did also send in this cute little tote bag this laughter is the best cosmetic did also have some little pins in here totes cute these little cute pens they're really cute that is everything that i got from ulta now let's go ahead and get into the stuff that i got from target i picked up just stuff from elf you guys know that elf is my favorite drugstore affordable brand i finally picked up the elf lip exfoliator i have it in the brown sugar one so this is also another product that has gone viral on tiktok wow and that does not feel rough at all on the skin so we'll see how this works out i did also finally pick up the hydrating camo concealer and i picked up the sponge that comes along with it i actually tested out the sponge today and i really like it i think that it really blends out the concealer so well and it doesn't take away any of that coverage i believe this sponge is only five dollars and the hydrating camo concealer i hadn't wanted to pick it up because i was a little iffy about the shade range every time i'd go into target i just felt like they had a very limited shade range and then online i couldn't decide what to get but was in the store and i got the shade fair rose so hopefully this works out and if not then I can't always use it as an eyeshadow base it's supposed to be a high coverage hydrating and long wearing concealer i do really like the original one as well but i feel like that one is just too matte and it dries down so so quickly that you can't really like apply your concealer in the spots where you want to apply it and then go in blend everything out take your time no you have to apply a little bit here blend it out as fast as you can and then apply over here blend that out as fast as you can you really can't take your time with that concealer it just dries down so so quickly and i feel like it was a little bit too drying underneath the eyes so 
really been just wanting to pick up this one this is again the hydrating camel concealer and this is also supposed to leave you with a satin finish and i got mine in the shade of ferro so we'll see if this works out hopefully it does so last two items that i got these are the elf seriously satin lipsticks i have them in the shade taffy and cream and i already have another one in the shade nectar and i really like it it is just so comfortable on the lips so pigmented so long wearing so i saw these shades and i thought these are gonna be so cute and perfect for spring and summer if we even have some like this year these are also really affordable they only retail for three dollars which is was it three dollars yeah it was three dollars which is insane um, this is again the shade cream and it's just a nice pretty nude and then the shade this is the shade taffy it's just so pretty that is pretty much everything that i have gotten from ulta target let me know what stuff you would like follow up or review on or if you want to see me testing this out on camera so let me know down below in the comment section leave any other video requests down below in the comment section as well and yeah thank you guys so much for watching you've already tested some of these items out leave your opinions and your thoughts down below in the comment section and also be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet thank you again so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye